Well, I finally did it. If you've watched any of my other monthly cactus videos, you would know that I use these crappy children's watercolors to do these by the company Artist Loft. Now, I started off using these watercolors last year because I wasn't sure if I was going to actually transition from digital art to traditional art. So I started off with these cheap watercolors, I played around with them, and I found that I really liked watercolors, so I moved on to a better brand, and I now use Core. Did you hear that, everybody? I use the brand Core, Q-O-R watercolors. If you ask, I'm not going to answer. Most artists on YouTube put the materials they use in the description, so please check before you leave a comment asking what they use, because when I'm getting 10 questions a day asking what brand I use, it it's tiring. Okay, back to the story. However, I started this cacti watercolor series while I was still using these bad watercolors, and I have a problem when it comes to consistency. Especially when I'm doing a set of illustrations, I like things to be the same. And I didn't like the idea of having one illustration done in this Artist Loft brand and then switching over to Core. So I felt committed and I thought these were kind of goofy and bright and childish anyway, so I thought it fit. However, the longer I used Core and the more I went back and used this Artist Loft watercolor, the more I hated it. In fact, Here's a clip of video showing how the watercolor is so chalky that it actually rubs off and chips away from the paper. Isn't that great? Even knowing that, I still wanted my illustrations to be consistent and I kept doing the monthly cacti with those cheap watercolors. They're just way too chalky and become muddy and hard to work with. But I have broken down. Yep. I did it! This is the first monthly cactus where I actually used these core watercolors and I just wanted to make a PSA to not use these watercolors. If you use Artist Loft, it's fine to start off and practice with, but if you are going to do anything that you actually want to keep, please do not use them. There are better, cheaper watercolor art supplies out there. Stadler is a cheap tube watercolor and it's okay, but as far as other cakes and other things go, I haven't played around with them so I don't know. Just look up reviews for these things if you actually want to get into watercolor and don't use Artist Loft. If you're using it for practice and to get into watercolor, okay, but I would highly suggest not. Plus, oh man, I love my earthy colors. I love my earthy green tones. And I really liked how the Artist Loft watercolors were very bright and vibrant, but I am so drawn to these earthy tones that making the switch to core watercolors was irresistible and here I am doing it and oh my goodness, it looks so much better. So yeah, don't be a dum dumb like me. Even if this is a small project that I'm doing for fun, have a little respect for your doodles, Casey. My gosh. If you're five years old, it's fine to use these, but if you're trying to be an artist, oh gosh, don't even use these for fun. So much regret. I'm thankful that I was only using these for the cactus because, I mean, cactus or whatever, they're just fun little doodles every month, but looking at them, I just, oh, it's so sad. Funny enough, when I did the collaboration with my husband and he was doing watercolor, I almost made him use these and I think even he was like, no. I don't want to use that garbage. How sad is that? I just thought being in a cake form they would be easier for someone to use when they've never done watercolor, but because I was there, able to help him, he was okay with the tubes. Okay, everyone make fun of me in the comments for using bad art supplies, and this is my PSA to not use bad cheap art supplies. Alright guys, hopefully you learned something from this video. Please learn from my mistakes, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.